Hello, test one, two. How's it going? Welcome back to the stream. I, I need to figure out how to start doing this streaming thing again because I have the damnedest time starting this thing. There's just like this weird delay between hitting start and when the stream actually starts. I guess I could just start talking right away. I would probably do it instead of like that like pregnant pause <laughs> before <laughs> with me just like standing there, sitting here. Um, anyways, <laughs> rambling. Sorry, I'm extra tired today. I didn't exactly sleep the best. But there are games to be played. And, uh, I thought I'd do some streaming. I initially was thinking about, um, well, I mean, I, 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 I wanted to play online, like, but the servers are dead for this game. Um, it's been that way for the past couple hours. Doesn't seem to have stopped people, though. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of people playing this game. Let me check SteamDB right now, actually, just out of curiosity. Yeah, 119. It has dropped. It was 152k. <laughs> Which is... That's a large number. That's a lot... That's a big number of people. Um, but good on this game. I've heard, heard really good things. I actually don't know if this is technically... <laughs> my title might be a lie. I, I, I swear I played this at least briefly, like when it first came out, but I might be thinking of the other ARPG. I might be getting it mixed up with Grim Dawn. I actually think, you know what? I think the title of this might not be a lie. I think this is actually technically my first real time uh, with this game, playing this game. So it's neither here nor there. Uh, speaking of Grim Dawn, how does that thing turn out? I think it's doing fine, right? I remember liking it. Yeah, it's got pretty good ratings. Oh, that was 2016. Okay, that was quite a while ago. Well, last epoch, epoch, I tr really upset some people by sp pronouncing this wrong. Uh, technically, has been in early access for some time, but the 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 uh, impetus for today's stream and and the big to do around this at the moment is the fact that it's like officially now launched. It is leaving early access, it's coming into 1.0, and uh, I wanted to give the game a look and play it a little bit, so uh, that's what we'll do. I, I don't know exactly the game plan, a couple hours maybe, I'll just sit here, play the game for a bit, uh, try to keep an eye on my stream. I stream st so sporadically, it's always like an adventure whenever I come back. Like, how is this gonna go? Is the stream gonna fail? How is my internet gonna hold up? We'll we'll <laughs> stay tuned. We'll find out. I've never been this far from um, the slums. So, anyways, yeah, so hack a slash ARPG. It's uh, gotten me. a lot of updates. So, I, one of the big things apparently with uh, the launch here is that I got a graphical update, and um, it looks better than I recall from seeing footage, even just. Uh, a few months ago, so seems like that is accurate. Other than that, dude, I, uh, your guess is as good as mine. I imagine there'll be people in chat well, much uh, more versed on this game than I am, because I am coming in as ignorant as a newborn baby, just completely unaware of what this game is, what's in it. Traveler, as keeper, he wishes to destroy. But I've heard people say it's legacy. good, so we can't let that happen. That's we uh, that's good enough help. for me. Your help. Oh no, he's offline. Am I already? Oh, oh, how am I playing? <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought you were saying I thought you were saying my stream's already down. <laughs> like, oh great. Yeah, no, we're playing offline because that's uh, the the servers have been just not working. I would have, uh, I, I may very well have, uh, ended up streaming earlier, but... Anyways. Let's play some games, dude. Yeah? Just, just play some... Play some games. ARPGs. Huh? Man. What an adventure it's been. It's crazy, dude! I, I, I would not have guessed that 2024 would have been... Between 2023 and 2024, a resurgence. This is actually really cool. So my basic attack, my Q ability changed with the weapon. Oh, it, here it says it right here, flurry attack. A bow or melee attack that performs three rapid strikes. And so it actually changes 
That's actually pretty cool. I'm just so used to like abilities being what they are. Like this ability is melee, this ability is ranged. But this ability that I have, this flurry ability, changes with the weapon on it. If I hit Q with the sword, it does that. If I hit Q with the bow, it does that. Hey, that's pretty cool. It's unfortunate that the tune from offline can't be used for online as well. Well, that's because hacking, <laughs> right? Isn't that just, isn't that like just it? That's because with if, with an offline tune, you can probably edit your whatever files, your any files, and dupe a billion gold and then pull it on online. Like, the, as far as I'm aware, that's like the main reason that just isn't allowed. All right, I got a new ability now, a W throws three shurikens in a cone. So uh, presumably the idea is if I can, because it's a cone, I can either hit three spread out or if I do it really close to someone, I hit them with all three. This like, appears to do shit damage though. I imagine there's some sort of debuff associated with it. Uh, let me, let me, let me, ooh, here we go. All right, I got a couple of things here. I love how I'm like picking up probably the most garbage of weapons. Can I do a wield? Nope, not yet. Uh, 10 melee, 10 melee, 12 bow. We'll keep the bow. I also picked, I thought I picked up a blue. Here it is, it auto oh, equipped it. My cloth hood of renewal. I mean, look. It doesn't look as good as Diablo 4. Listen, that's not an indictment of the game. <laughs> Just saying. It's also made by a much smaller team. It's also, Half the price. So, if that, what's the what's the price of Diablo? A hundred dollars? No, this does look this does look a lot better. They apparently recently did a graphical overhaul. Yeah, and I, I'm honestly, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to come out the gate ragging on it. I'm just saying, like, if we're making observations, like, yes, the graphical fidelity is of a of a, a, a lower quality than than D4. But it doesn't matter if the game's good, and also not the most important things at all. I am just making observation. And I want to add, too, I don't want to come out the gate acting like I'm uh, giving this game a hard time. Because I, uh, I watched a video recently, at least part of the video, where it was like the dev team talking about how they came about this game. It was just like a bunch of, a bunch of people who came together who just like loved ARPGs. They had like not many of them apparently had not had any involvement in game development before and then they were just like hey i like arpgs I, there, there are things about the genre that i wish were better you want to get together and make a game and, and it's no no the, actually what they said in the video was that it started out as a reddit post there was like there was like a reddit the, the people who put this game together like it, they, they there was like a reddit post there was like here's some things i wish were better about the genre and then a bunch of people came together off the back of that and made this game. That is freaking cool, dude. That is really cool. That is real. I love. I love it. Absolutely love it. And and by all accounts, it, you know, I was just giving it shit. But by all accounts, uh, like I said, I've heard really, really good things about this. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited to check it out. You can swap skills on your action bar by left clicking on them and and then using the fly out menu to change. Thanks for the 10. Did anyone catch the rest of that sentence? My brain is functioning at about 50% uh, speed today. <laughs> All right. Okay, so those are my two abilities. Oh, this is what I wanted to check if there was any... Oh, there's the scale. Okay, so the scaling tags. Three strikes, the last strike can be canceled by moving. Okay, so so if I'm constantly clicking, I won't get the third strike unless I wait for it to go. That's good. That is really good to know. And then this one is just three in a cone. Yeah, so this is just, I'm sure there's uh, eventually, you know, there's synergies and all that stuff. But right now it just seems like Shuriken is just worse. Like straight up worse at the moment. <clears throat> Oh, and uh, the other thing I wanted to see, do I have skills yet? I don't think so. I'd imagine that would have popped up. Oh, here we go. Okay. 
Passive system information. Gain passive points by leveling up and completing a quest. Uh, advancing your passive tree will unlock new uh, skills and passives, master classes. Initially, you only, only place one. Uh, you may only place points in your base class tree. You will have the opportunity to choose a mastery class during your adventure. Once you choose a mastery class, you will gain access to the left section of each mastery and the right section of your chosen mastery. You may only select one mastery per character. I actually picked this class because you can play as like a, a bird person, like calling in birds to do stuff for you. That sounds dope. Blade Dancer sounds dope too. I don't know. So this is actually really important. I'm glad I read this because I think I was constantly, I was click moving with attacks in between. Like I was attacking and then running and then attacking and then running. And I think I was, I was only getting two of the three strikes because the third uh, strike will be canceled. So I'm glad I read that. <laughs> this is Diablo Immortal. <laughs> uh, you know what's so sad? Like no joke. I don't like Diablo Immortal. Don't get it. Don't get the wrong picture here. But there's actually some like systems and features in Diablo Immortal that I can't. I I really had wished were made it into Diablo Four. Like there are aspects about Diablo Immortal, not the gem system, not the pay for power, but there are aspects. There are actually aspects. I'm saying this unironically right now. There's actually parts of Diablo Immortal that are better than Diablo Four. Or that would be, let's put it, um, charitably. That would be wonderful additions to Diablo 4. Actually, I haven't really thought much about that game at all. Now that I bring it up, I'm getting like... <sighs> I, I, you know, I really thought, I really, I was certain that I would end up playing Seasons, but, um, I have just not yet been fully enticed. I might have to wait to the hundred dollar expansion. Man, I feel like sh I feel like I'm doing a shit job right now. I got a new passive point. I also got a new ability. Uh, shift, dash a short fixed distance to target. Does it do damage? No, it's just a dash. It's just a dash. Okay, that's still good though. And I got a uh, I got a I got something here. So I can't do I can't do falconer yet. I have to do my main rogue class. Let me see. Swift Assassin, melee, throwing, and bow attacks have increased attack speed and deal additional physical damage. Steady Hand, alt for more information. What about any information to start? <laughs> what? Can you give an example, uh, having never played Diablo Immortal? They had like a really cool... Uh, the, 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 actually, the main thing that comes to mind with Diablo Immortal is they had a, a, a really cool PvP faction system. Where you, they had like arena PvP basically, which, you know, that was in Diablo 3, but then it was removed prior to launch and then it never came back and it hasn't made its way into Diablo 4. And uh, I just like the structured PvP. I, I wish uh, it's a shame that it's a shame that Diablo 3 didn't get it. I think they eventually got something, but every time I came back for a season in Diablo 3, I just would be grinding greater risks for a couple of days and that was my experience, so I don't know. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's the probably the main one that comes to mind, frankly. All right, let's see. So Swift Assassin sounds good. Each point of dexterity adds four dodge rating and improves skills that rely on skill for hand. I'm sure eventually, I'll, uh, uh, there are. Th I'm assuming there are respects, right? I'm gonna go with Swift Swift Assassin for now. Attack speed and physical damage. That's my my unga bunga brain says yes, yes. More attack and bigger number attack. Go with that. Is offline the way to go at the moment? For this, yes, you can't. <laughs> the way to go, it's the only way to go at the when moment. Right. Online's just, was uh, family? busted. It was, my name, I come. It was it's been down fight. for a couple hours or something, so. You can respec skills and passives, but not class mastery. Oh, boy. Well, okay. Get ready for a bad build once I start my class mastery. Holy crap! 
Boy did a lot of damage to me. What is my keybind for? Is it just one? It is just one. And it let me use it while I was full. That's unfortunate. Smoke. Not happening. How far is the range on this thing, by the way? Can I, like, off screen? Oh, quick question for the um, experts on this game. Can I only stack two at once? Interesting. Huh. Really? The health restored required a few. I don't know. Um, quick question. Does this game have PvP? Since we're just talking about it. Oh, I'm wondering. Is that a companion? Uh, it's just someone who's uh, on a quest with me. Why is this so much worse, but it costs mana? I'm I'm genuinely perplexed. It's got to be because the scaling's better, or there's some really strong interaction. No PvP in the game. Okay. So much destruction. And for what? Short bow. Ooh. So the bow I've got is 12 bow damage, and uh. Oh, this is the exact same thing. Okay, never mind. For some reason, I thought I had a longbow or something. <laughs> Gotta say, even just early, I'm already liking. I'm already liking my class selection. I mean, it's it's really every, it's really simple thus far, but. Oh, you know what I wanted to try. All right. Let me know if the stream dies. I'm going to try. Ah, screw it. Whatever. I was going to try uh, screen capturing with shadow play, but... Maybe not. Alright. I got new uh, passives here. Let me just clear these guys. <laughs> they won't forget that. All right. Skill system introduction. Oh God, no. Uh, can I still attack? I think, I think the guy got it, okay. Um, viewing augment skills, click on a skill, use a new skill, click on an action bar slot to access the skill selection panel. Specializing skills, you can specialize in up to five skills by clicking in and Unlocking specialization slot. Clicking and <laughs> unlock specialization. I told you my brain's at half capacity today. Uh, specializing in a skill will allow you to gain skill points for that skill by earning experience, which you can use to empower the augment. So I heard about this. Like, every skill has its own, like, skill tree. Oh, I also got unlocked a new skill. Throw a flask of acid that explodes, dealing physical damage on impact, poisoning enemies, and reducing their armor. That's cool. Okay. So I got another point in this. I'm going to go back with the Swift Assassin. And... Let's see. I've been... I mean, I've been spamming Flurry. So maybe I just start with that. You have increased attack speed for each hit you, uh... Let me look out here, because that's what I'll be working towards, right? If you're using a melee weapon, flurry now causes force waves to blast forward with each strike, dealing melee physical damage. Critical strikes restore health. Flurry grants mana when hitting one enemy. Flurry deals more damage, mul multiplicative with other modifiers for each second channeled up to a maximum. Uh, Flurry is now a channel ability. Flurry strikes have a chance to grant you adrenaline rush, uh, granting Flurry 5% more damage, multiplicative, and 5% increased attack speed. This lasts for four seconds. Adrenaline rush can have multiple stacks. Interesting. 
Uh, so, so like, there's like major nodes that appear to make changes, the ones that are this shape. Uh, it's either the shock wave, the adrenaline rush, or the boundless blows. We got any suggestions? To which three of those modifiers? I, I feel like the standing still channeling... Maybe not great. Adrenaline rush or shock wave? Any off-the-cuff suggestions? I don't really... I'm not uh, attached to anything, so... You can respec a skill later on the cost of some of your experience. Diablo killers. <laughs> hey, now! Be nice. Flurry channel with multi-shot. Wait for the puncture skill. Hmm. But I wanna- I wanna play with skills now. I mean, I- I should just be comfortable just to play around, right? Because- Wait a second, does this thing freeze? No, that must have been one of his abilities. Not happening. Man, I already- I already like the feel of, like, character movement and attacks. I think they've done a pretty darn good job. It's easy enough to experiment, is it? Okay, okay, just play around. Thank you, that- That's like- dude, that's like my greatest- I'll just tell you, that is like my greatest, uh... Like, just getting paralyzed by the idea of making the wrong choice. I don't know if anyone else is that way, but, uh, I've, I'm gonna actually try ranged right now. It's probably not good, but I'm just gonna try it anyways. So what did I- what did I even click on? Let's see. Um, Flurry has increased attack speed. I'm actually going to go to Boundless Blows. I'm just going to give it a shot. Uh, so increased attack speed by 5%. Not happening. Yeah, like already, already I've unlocked four skills and it's like, it's got a nice flow to it. It's got a nice combination. I love that I already have a blink. I've got a debuff, a blank. My shurikens feel uh, like a wasted hop, uh, wasted skill right now, but eventually I'll get more so I can replace it if I want. Thinking about getting this game, what are your initial thoughts? I mean, I've been playing for 20 minutes now, and because I'm like talking and really not at all, uh, I have I've seen I've seen nothing. <laughs> like I'm still at the beginning of the tutorial, basically. So. Uh, best not to, uh, ask me, but to, I guess to answer your question, like, so far, these first 20 minutes have felt good. <laughs> uh, probably a better, uh, judge of, of the game, though, will be the many, many, many thousands of positive reviews the game has on Steam. Um, pretty, pretty good. Now, keep in mind what you're getting. You're getting, like, a, 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 a lower, um... You're getting a game that had less development money put into it, so you're not gonna quite have the same, like, production value uh, as, like, a big trip- uh, as, like, Path of Exile, probably. Like, Path of Exile 2, I don't know where Path of Exile 1 right now is at the moment. Path of Exile 2 looks fantastic in terms of production, uh, animation, texture, quality, environment, stuff, so, you know, all those things. Um, with, like, Diablo- Diablo 4 being at the top for as much as people love to shit on the game, like, it is really good looking, it has great animations, it's a high production quality, right? Whether or not the game- whether or not you like the game quality, that is obviously an entire different conversation, but... So, so this game is gonna have a much lower, like, production quality, but that- that says nothing of whether or not it is a good game with good gameplay and good systems and good mechanics, you know what I mean? And those things, from what I've heard, appear to be on point. And my early impression is it- I'm- I'm pleasantly surprised with- with how this is looking and feeling, um... For the price point, for sure. Yeah, I think- I think this is pretty- pretty impressive so far. Or Lost- a uh, Lost Ark. Uh, that, that one gets easily forgotten in my mind because I- I more associate it with when I think of MMOs than of ARPGs, but obviously it's it's a kind of a little bit of both in a way. Um, 
Lost Ark's production quality is like through the roof too. Like really, really good. Here what's offered protection. Sounds like their lead the keepers have done a group. But this isn't bad. I mean Speaking of, dude, this is sounds this like is pretty good. Well. Alright, I'm in town. Too different from home. And it looks like I got a bunch of uh whoa. Okay, I'm traveling through time clearly. Wait, this is kind of cool. So it looks like, it looks like it takes the same, until you get to these ones. These ones are whatever's going on here. Space islands and whatever's happening there. But they're like changing based on these timelines. They're changing the, I'm presuming they're changing the zones and the cities based on the timeline that it's in. That's kind of cool, dude. Interesting. But it seems like we're here now in the divine era speak with keeper lena not happening what is this thing hello traveler respecialize mastery point alloc wait wait i thought someone told me i couldn't respect my mastery i swear someone said something about not being able to respect mastery but this is like literally what this vendor is I want to play Falconer so bad. It just sounds so Do cool. Not dwell on regrets. Okay, I got... I'll probably sell some of this stuff. I think I want to keep using bow. You can't undo your class ascension. So, like, does that mean if I pick... Um, so, are you saying if I... What, what, what's the keybind for this thing? Okay. You're saying if I pick Falconer, I can't go back from that choice? You can respect passives, but can't change mastery. So, when I go... It, it, when I choose Falconer, because I'm going to choose Falconer, because sounds dope, uh, I can't go back from that. Is that what you mean? Or is there a further... Oh, that is it. There, I, there's not, like, a further level of ascension you're talking about? Okay. Well, I'm fine with that. Like, before I even started, I decided I want to play that. I'm, I'm guessing I just sell this stuff, unless there's a, a salvage that I should be doing. Where's um, my money? 297? Okay, it goes up. Tell me if I should be salvaging or something, but otherwise I will uh, sell for currency. This is a teleportation pad. Damn, dude, it's gonna take a hot minute for me to figure out this map. I'm a little confused. So I am, he am I, am I here? Where am I? I'm here, okay. I'm here in the keeper's camp. Where did I start? Did I start in the old, Old Town Road? Did I start there? Did I start in the Highlands? No. I think I started the Old Road. But it doesn't look like I can go back. Is it because I didn't uh, unlock teleportation pads for them? Don't know. Salvage comes later. Hmm. Okay. Thank you. Guy needs a tutorial. Yeah, I think there is one. Grail was just telling what both us but not you could you they should do I think this is it. Well, I just like this I just I think what I was just clicking through I'm pretty sure that's probably the tutorial. The person Grail was just telling what you both but not you you could they should do this and our alliance is secure. Oh good. We'll all right, secure the alliance. I can I I got that. I got my head wrapped around that. Not all areas have teleport. Okay. Got it. <laughs> All right. Um, more attacking. Let's do that. Portal. You can now use your portal to return to your last visited town. That is T for teleport. Oh shit! It just spawns it up in the and there's no cooldown. Let's find out if there's a cooldown. Since I'm right next to town, it's the easiest now to learn. Uh. No, no cooldown. Can I teleport while in town to town? Yes, I can. Look at all this stuff we're learning. I'm going to head down here real quick. I want to see what's... Hmm. You're not going to let me go, right? I, yeah, I need to go do, go do this first. Okay, you got it. Also, press G for the in-game wiki. That is helpful. Um... Portal. Okay. 
let's see. What else would I want to wiki? Um, auction house. Guys, the wiki sucks. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh yeah, respec. That's what I should check. I should check for respec. Are my shurikens better all of a sudden? No, my flurry is still the go-to. Respect. Ugh. Is there anything in the wiki? This is, I tell ya. When I am overtired, watch out. <laughs> Alright, Puncture. People were telling me this was the shit. Like, this is the ability. Um, did I- I got one unspent point. We'll keep going, uh, physical. Attack speed and physical damage. I swear to god, if physical damage doesn't count towards my ranged attack, I'm gonna be miffed. It may very well be under range damage. I don't know yet. Oh no, I should have been using steady hand. This, uh... We're already, we're already really messing up. Puncture, an extended melee stab or piercing blow. Okay, I've heard this is, I heard this is good. I'm gonna actually get out of here. Can I remove you? What happens? Oh no, but I got rid of my melee weapons. So I think I have to wait until I have my melee weapons. Well, let me, um, let me replace- Let me just see what it does by replacing shuriken with puncture. Wait a second, it works for range too? Extend melee stab or piercing bow attack that has a 30% chance to inflict bleed on hit. It costs no mana. Bleed inflicted by Puncture has 30% increased duration. Bro, that is sick. Look at that. Reading is hard. I know, which is especially tough because it's fundamental. So I guess I should do, I should do Flurry and Puncture is what I'm thinking. Um... So we'll keep it going. Because I can do Puncture. And then Flurry. And then Boundless Blows. Flurry. So I can Puncture to inflict Bleed and then, you know, do the big attack there. That sounds Not good to me. <laughs> does, the does the Bleed stack? Not bleeding. It, it, he was finally bleeding in that last attack there. I gotta hand it to him. These abilities feel way better than I expected. Uh, you know, when you when you, when it comes to like indie games, I always try to keep my expectations in check. You know. Um, especially with game feel, because it's it, it it's not always the case, right? Uh, we all know how the AAA industry has felt over these past not 15 years. <laughs> I was gonna say five, but no. But um, you know, there it is definitely the case that w when you throw more money into a project and enough time, it can usually mean like a higher quality of game feel. It's definitely not universal, but. I think, you know, the Blizzard example is a great one, like, for any qualms people might have with their, um, game design choices and all of that, like, the feel of Blizzard games is really, really good, like, like, like blowing shit up in Diablo 4 feels great, you know what I mean? 
with all with all of its other issues in mind, like just like casting spells and blowing shit up feels really good in D4. And sometimes you don't get that same game feel uh, with lower budget titles. But I'm already quite impressed. Already quite impressed here. Right click on your right click ability. Oh, right, I should change that, because that basic attack is useless, isn't it? You're right. Uh, I will change it to, I guess, my main spam, and then, uh, for Q, uh, I'll put, I'll just put, um, I'll just put shurikens on Q for now, but, yeah. Ooh. No, uh, Wazda movement? Uh, I, I don't know, actually. There might be, I just... Oh, number of potion slots. Uh, so I have an extra potion slot now with this. Increased physical damage. And so this counts... It says it's bow damage. I wonder if it counts as physical, though. Because it doesn't say it's... I'd assume it counts as physical. Because there's a difference physical and rain, um, physical and magic, or whatever other or other types they might have, and then ranged and melee. So I'm assuming that counts as physical. Oh, I should be using my R big time. Oh shoot, I'm going, the, going the wrong way. Can I teleport through them? I can. Do you think Nightingale is going to be hindered since it followed and shrouded in Pal World? Uh, it doesn't help, I'm sure, because, you know, having, having their, th there's like, um, people like trying new things, right? And so if there was like a six month difference between Pal World and shrouded and Nightingale, people there, there, you might've seen, you, it could be a situation that you would see more people interested because they were already done with those other games, right? But because Enshrouded and Power World are so new, I think that you will get people that will be making the choice between the two because they're not done with either one of those games. But th between the three. Um, and I just don't know. I mean, honestly, for me, all right, if I'm playing any survival game right now, but, uh, I'm pretty much done with Enshrouded, but that's because I've, like, played everything. Like, I've completely cleared the map. I'm, like, max power level. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm done, right? I've, I've got all the Shroud Roots. I did everything. I know. I probably should have streamed that, too. I don't know what I'm doing. Listen, I've been on I've been on this platform for 14 years. Still no idea what I'm doing, okay? If, that's, if anyone ever tells you they know what they're doing, I, I've been here 14 years. Still have no clue what I'm doing. Could be a me problem, but... Um, so, so... Let's assume that I hadn't finished and shrouded, right? My choice of survival game would be enshrouded, then actually Nightingale. <laughs> Even though I, 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 you know, I think Power World is, a, is probably a better game. It's just not to my tastes, really. That's really all it is. I just don't care. I just don't care about creature collection. I, I don't care about getting shinies and shit. I think it's like cute and funny. Like, I think, like, having your pals working in your base, like, that's, like, you know, it's funny, it's silly, and it's cool to see the different pals doing shit. Like, it's cool to see Depresso, like, barely keeping his eyes open, hacking away at a tree or something. That's funny, but, like, if I'm gonna sit down and play a game for 15 hours, I'm less interested in Pal World than I am in Nightingale. That said... I think Nightingale is probably the of the of those three games. I think Nightingale is probably the one that needs the most work, and that um, a smaller amount of people will enjoy. That's my honest opinion of of that. Um, so I would say for most people, it would be some either. I if I had to choose right now, I would probably say Nightingale. But if that's my choice, then I'm probably saying, I'm, I guess I'm just not playing a survival game right now because I don't really want to play Nightingale either, so. 
<laughs> Alright, looks like I just got a tower buff. Uh, stunning shrine, increased stun. Alright, I know I gotta- uh, I'm gonna make use of this buff. I know I got a skill to select, but it's gonna take me a minute because I'm still learning, so... I'm gonna uh, use up this buff, the stun buff, and then I'm gonna pick my skill. Yeah, so to answer your question, definitely. Like, it absolutely is is gonna hurt Nightingale that those that it's just so close to the release of those two other survival games. That and that they are both good and people really like them. Like that sucks for Nightingale. Cause again, had there been a six month gap between the two, you'd probably get more people interested in spending more time and giving Nightingale more of a chance. That would be my guess. Um, and I don't know, like, I don't know how it's doing. I know that the Steam reviews right now are pretty rough. Uh, I know a large part of that has to do with, like, connectivity issues and stuff. Like, it's it can be really tough in the first couple of days after one of these games come out. And if they're having, like, launch server issues. It can be tough to gauge how much of the negative reception when it comes to uh, user reviews, how much of it is just like, hey, I can't play this, that sucks, and how much of it is I don't like the game. It's hard to it's hard to know. I know how I feel about the game, but sometimes how I feel doesn't line up with how a lot of uh, uh, other people feel. Like, a great example, one that really took me by surprise, uh, I played Atomic Heart, and I really disliked it. Um, uh, we were just talking about production quality. That, there's a kind of a good example. Like that game had pretty good production quality. Um, it like it had great visuals. It had uh, good looking animations and a, a visually appealing world. I just dis. It felt like flat and bland to me. I really so much about the gameplay and just the overall experience of playing Atomic Heart. I didn't enjoy. That game got like rave reviews. Like people loved it. Right. Like, it did super well on user reviews. So, point being is, like, my taste and my preference does not always align with everyone else's. Um, I, I, like, there's things I like about Nightingale. I just think it needs a bit of work. It feels like it could use another year, frankly. Um, but it is early access, and I'm sure a part of the decision to go into early access, as it always feels like is the case, um, is, hey, you know, instead of burning through a year's worth of salary, however many millions of dollars that could be, depending on the number of people they have on a payroll and how much they're being paid, instead of burning through a year's worth of uh, development costs, let's put this game, when we feel it's good enough, into people's hands. Uh, and But that's always the risk, right? Because what's good enough, what they think is good enough, might turn out to not be good enough for a lot of people. Um... So, I don't, we'll see what happens with that game. I'm, I'm hoping for the best because there's actually, there's a real, like I said in the review that I did the other day, um, there's a lot that I really like about it. It seems steady on my end, uh, Liam. I don't know if that's you. Oh, you know what? I am getting some uh, stream health. Let me look. Says it's back to normal. There was a couple of minutes of it failing. That's unfortunate. Well, I'll keep an eye on it. <clears throat> uh, combat in Nightingale kind of struggles after recently playing Enshrouded. Yeah, and you know what's funny? Like, it's not like um, Enshrouded's uh, combat is particularly complex. I need to pick my skill. Uh, it's not like Enshroud's com combat is uh, particularly complex, but it does feel good enough, is how I would say. Is what I would say about it. Can I get Boundless Flurry? Not yet. I think after this, maybe? I, I just filled this threshold, so I think I'll be able to get this next. Yeah, I guess the good thing with uh, with Enshrouded is you have the ability to swap between all those um, all the different weapons you have bound. But, but besides that, the game's attack combat is just basic attacks. I will say that like uh, the combat feels pretty smooth, although it's rather simple. The combat feels pretty smooth in Enshrouded, and I cannot say the same about 
Unfortunately, I cannot say the same about Nightingale. It does feel really janky and like stilted. And I, we, I even felt that way after we unlocked uh, magic abilities. It didn't seem to make enough of a difference. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I mean, I, you know, I, 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 I like a lot about it. So I hope for the best. I hope that they uh, turn it around in early access. I hope that it maintains enough interest and it makes them enough money to keep going. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's not something that they're going to... Also, like I said in the vid, I don't have the impression that they're going to drop the ball here. I, I imagine they will at least see it through early access development. And I'm hoping it comes out um, better as a result of the time spent. <clears throat> we'll see what happens, though. What I'm really what I'm really interested in is how the Steam reviews are gonna look after like a couple of weeks once they sort out. Presuming they sort out all of the launch issues, like with the connectivity and stuff, I'll be really interested to see how it, how people are feeling then. How you find a rogue? It seems a bit squishy to start. Well, I've got nothing to compare it to uh, in this game. I'm I'm enjoying it so far. I'm glad I kept- I was gonna walk out that door. I'm, I was gonna walk out this door because it's glowing, right? Like, so duh, go out the door, it's glowing, that's where your objective is. But I'm glad I kept exploring because I just got a- I just got some gear, boy. I think I might swap to melee just to try this yellow spear. Yeah? Not quite right. What? Not quite right. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm liking it. Damn, I'm really, I'm already really digging this game. I was really unsure. I think it doesn't sell itself well visually. Like, I, I'm watching gameplay, I was like, I don't know. It looks like Grim Dawn to me, and I know it doesn't actually look like Grim Dawn, but you know how you just make those comparisons in your mind from what you have experience in? It's like, I don't know. And and Grim and that's not a slight against Grim Dawn either, but I'm like, I don't know, it kinda looks like an old it looks like it looks like an ARPG from like five, seven years ago or something, and I was like, I don't know if I'm really that interested, but getting my hands on this now feels pretty good. Already I like the skill interactions and everything. I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed. I'm pretty impressed so far. Alright. Um uh the ones I have are better more movement speed, so that better in that sense. Can't see the map for shit though, because it's white and the ground is like a freaking sandstone. Bright white. Uh, I can't see. Okay, I'm going in the right direction. I think I can't see shit. There must be a way to increase opacity or change opacity. <laughs> like, I can't see fucking shit, bro. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. I'm sure there's a way to adjust that. Oh, what just happened? Oh, I went back through the door. Is there controller support? Good question. You'll have to ask chat. I'm not super familiar with the game, and that's uh, something I don't know. There is a transparency slider on the options. Okay. You know what? I think I might have seen that actually somewhere. Map opacity. There we go. Perfect. Good call. Oh, let me see if there's anything in here. My inventory is just about full up. 
Gonna have to, uh... Well, I have a portal, so does my portal let me come back? Opens a portal back to the last major town you visited. Can I take the portal back to my current location? There is controller support. Oh, that's cool. I can take the portal back to my current location. Damn, dude. I thought of everything. Throwing damage, I don't need. Increased minion damage, increased critical strike. Uh, crit, crit chance will take. S health regen per second. Uh, I'll keep the one I have on now. Did I get any more skills? No, just the ones I have. Yes, but the map will reset, so will the mobs. Okay. Well, let me go to my objective. Oh, there's a portal right there. Assuming I beat this boss. Can I stack the bleeds? Looks like it is stacking. Looks like all those debuffs are stacking, actually. this fucking what's this phoenix boy kind of want my range back now i'm getting smacked oh boy Ooh, what is that it's so funny i'm getting the scepter maybe i can dual wield scepters no nope. not quite right melee damage this is better I do want to, I, I pretty much want to use range, but. Uh, might have to drop something. Hmm. Can I organize this better to fit more? Might have to drop something. That's a three. This probably doesn't matter that much. So I'm just, I'll take this portal. Okay, so I am at the fortress wall. I think I went through the fortress gardens to get here. We go back to town and sell. Um, vendor, this is the vendor. Mm. And you know what? I'm actually gonna hold on to my other yellow. Um, and I'll hold on to my bow and quiver just in case I don't get another one or something. Right. Whoops. I'll hold on to those for now. Oh, there's a sort item button. Okay, thank you. All right, so we will go back. Oh, did I check? Um, did I have any more skill points? No. Where's my level? Man, there's a lot of different systems here. Okay, level six. Bunch of stats, resistances, health, movement speed. Blah blah blah. blah. Okay. All right, uh, back to the fortress wall. Will you cover Sons of the Forest 1.0? Um, so that's another thing. That's another game that we ended up playing a bunch, but I don't think we ever made a video for. Um, I play, yeah, I played a lot of Sons of the Forest, and um, I actually, I really liked it. It just, um, 
It felt like it went flat way too soon, and it felt like way too much of the world was empty, which was a shame. This was back when it, I'm talking back when it first came out. Um, I'm really hopeful that the game's in a better spot right now. I think that that might be a fun one to stream and or cover. Isn't that out like, wait, isn't that out like tomorrow? <laughs> isn't the 1.0 for that thing like tomorrow? We'll have to see. It depends. Still kind of deciding what we're going to work on for the channel here the next couple of days. I might, though, to answer your question. Oh, this is a, another shrine. Um, let me do my points real quick here, though. And then... Should have another one of these, right? No? Oh, I have to. Okay. It's the skill levels, whereas the other one is me leveling. And I just unlocked Smoke Bomb. Oh, I also have Cinder Strike. Okay, 93 damage per second. This is 99. Boy, I really, I hope I get a, I hope I get a, a high rarity bow because I really want to try this stuff with bows again. I actually don't know if I need it. I feel like I should try smoke bomb for now instead of a cinder strike. Because I don't, because uh, I'm using, I'm already using flurry. And I feel like the utility would be better than having another offensive spam spamming. You know what I mean? Drop a smoke bomb when you feed the blind enemies, grants you haste while inside. The smoke bomb grows in size over its duration, lasts four seconds. Not happening. Okay. Oh, I can, I can see it. Yeah, I really want to use a bow again. <laughs> All right, let's see. 18, this has got more melee crit, uh, melee physical damage, health on melee hit, health on kill. Uh, I think I will actually grab that. Someone said there was, oh, there's a sort right there. Ooh. Big old shield. Oh man. Uh, this health, this life leech right now is OP as heck. I get, I'm just like face tanking and life leeching off of them. There's something over here. Oh, that's the NPC. Did I already chat with them? I did. Yeah, bro. <laughs> this is freaking. This is OP as heck. Uh, on, against the current enemies. I literally can just face tank with this life leech. Okay, I like melee again now. Does this game have multiplayer? Yeah, it does have co-op, I know. Oh man, I'm trying to think of the name. The hair in my mouth. Try to, think, try, to, try to think of the name. There was an there was a uh, there was an ARPG that I played last year. I want to say it was, um, and it it had this like cool thing. It had this cool skill system 
Oh, man, that's like the only thing I can say about it though, so that doesn't really tell you guys anything. What was it? I think it was like a skill gem system. I'm not talking about Path of Exile. But it had this, it was also, it felt like a mobile game at the same time, but it actually, like, I didn't hate it. What is, does anyone know what I'm talking about? An ARPG from last year f kind of felt like a mobile game. It had an interesting skill system where you could combine, like, you could bu combine skill, tra skill gems to make all sorts of modifiers, and it kind of also felt like a mobile game. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Anyone got the uh, clue? Undecember? No, not Vulcan. Could it could have been maybe it was Undecember? God, I wish I could remember the name. Cause I actually like had a fun time playing it, but also felt like like I just said, I, it also felt like it felt like a mobile game. No, not Torchlight. Yeah, I don't know. I'll remember it. Torchlight was an actual mobile game. Maybe it was Undecember. I think it might have been Undecember. <clears throat> I think it might have been Undecember. <laughs> such a bad name. Wait, was that two years ago? Holy crap. Yeah, I think it was Undecember. I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was. Yeah. It was Undecember. Uh, yeah, it was, like, bad, but I also kind of enjoyed it. I know. Weird. I don't know how anyone else felt about the game, but that was, like, my takeaway. Alright, at this point, I'm just praying. I, I really want to... Oh, my God. What is this? Added throwing damage shard. Augment an item to grant it a new property or improve an existing one. Adds X throwing. Okay, that's not as exciting as I had hoped. I mean, maybe it's. It, I'm sure it's exciting if I have a throwing build. Um, but I thought I got like a yellow weapon or something, and I was, uh, or an orange weapon, and I was pumped. <clears throat> yeah. Did anyone else play on December? Do you get what I'm saying? It was like bad, but also you kind of enjoyed it. Anyone else? <laughs> Anyone else? Does that jive with anyone else? <laughs> Shit game. Doesn't connect at all. Hyped for nothing. It'll have a small player base and that's it. I'm really hoping it doesn't have a small player base. What game are you talking about? This one? I mean, I'll tell you, dude. The concurrent numbers already say it's going to have uh, a decent sized player base if they solve launch issues. But here's the great thing. Here's the great thing. When you release a game and you're not beholden to investors, you can just have an offline mode and people can enjoy your game. Even if the connect connection is shit. And guess what? Right now, in this game, people aren't playing online, or at least it wasn't last I checked, it's been an hour. But I'm playing I'm playing the game that I purchased. Cause because they don't mind if I'm not connected to a shop. Because they don't got investors breathing down their neck. It's beautiful. It's it's a beautiful thing. It really is. Look at my life leech, dude. What are mechanics? I don't care. I just sit here. Anyone else tried Grim Dawn? I was just talking about that at the start of the stream. Yeah, I, re I remember really enjoying it. Uh, less physical damage, but it has health. Uh, I have fire damage, but I don't really transfer materials. Guess I'll see what that does. Don't know what I just did. Might have been a mistake. What? What the heck just happened? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What just happened? I just walked over to that thing. Uh, there's like an out. You know, this is probably nothing, but I'm going to check it because the OCD in me won't allow me not to. 
Maybe it's a long corridor that leads to a- No, it's nothing. It's like two barrels that wasn't discovered. Okay. It moves your crafting mats into your crafting bank. Okay, I didn't like, uh, I didn't like break them down or anything. Passive point and 30 experience. Okay. So I can spend more into Swift Assassin. I think I can just put points anywhere because those are glowing. But I can also now put a point into Twin Blade. You can dual wield melee weapons by equipping a sword or dagger in your offhand. You take more damage while dual wielding. Multiplicative with other modifiers. Wow, you take more damage, multiplicative. Oh, good. <laughs> um. <coughs> I kind of want to get this thing. That's kind of cool. Um, I'll try it. Can equip daggers in offhand. Can equip swords in offhand. Yeah, I'll, uh, no, wait, 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 wait. I have to remind myself that I actually want to go bow as soon as possible. <sighs> so I don't want to do that. I actually don't want to do that. I think I'm just gonna put another point swift assassin, bro. F it. Level eight, I can do another one of these. Can I? No, I still haven't leveled it up. I'm going in. Have it until you get the bow and then respec. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, I got another. Oh, I got another passive point. I'm just gonna cap it out at eight for now. I'll go from there. Um. Okay. Let's keep moving. I, I also, I'm partially like, I don't know why I'm so hell-bent on it. I just really liked the feel of the ranged combat. But I, I refuse to not use these yellow weapons while I have them. So, all right, this looks like a boss fight or something. Let me uh, just check the perimeter here, just so in case there's anything worthwhile. Yeah, hey, um, did anyone chime in, by the way, when we were talking about on December? Does anyone else remember liking that game, even though it was kind of bad? I'm, j I I'm really curious if I'm the only one who feels that way. This is the dude I just fought. Well, maybe he's not the same dude, but he's the same kind of guy. Wait, uh, ah, oh, it's a freaking blue bow. I mean, maybe I just use it. Yeah, it's X percent health. Crafting mats. Fire damage. So I'm safe. So I'm okay to just throw this stuff in there, right? I'm okay to do this transfer materials, and it's gonna just put this in my thing. <laughs> Under Thepper was fine, just didn't pull me in. I mean, uh, look, I'm not, <laughs> I need to really emphasize that I don't think it was a good game. But I ha I had fun with it. It's a bad game I had fun with. Uh oh.
Gonna be missing my life leech, I'm guessing. No, dude, this is sick. Not happening. Yeah, I'm just using a bow. I don't even care. I think this feels so good. That puncture too is real good. Not <sighs> Can stack my bleeds. I don't know. This thing is a lot more damage though. Not happening. Seems so anyways. I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Safe. Uh, yellow we gloves. Always transfer my items. Okay. First things Got it. Well, Alright, yellow Let's gloves. First, and then I'll explain more. The uh, anything beats increased minion damage. Is after uh, increased melee attack speed. Okay. I take it back. Not anything beats it. <laughs> Some things could be. A side grade or worse Not or happy. better. What do you think of the game so far? Pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I'd heard really good things, but I wasn't expecting it to feel as good as it as it's feeling so far. Since the keepers fall. We don't listen to it. <laughs> oh I got a uh, second skill. That I can upgrade. So maybe I do puncture. People are saying Cinder Strike's also good. I'm kind of invested in flurry right now. What is my ability that I? Uh, what is my passives that I've been doing? Double check it. Uh, where is it? Okay. Melee throwing and bow attacks have increased speed. Okay, so it's just increased speed and damage across the board. Okay. I'll probably do a couple of points in steady hand. As it works with flurry and shurikens. I don't know if it works with puncture. But... Uh, okay, so for my second ability, I think I'll do the puncture, because that's the other one I'm spamming right now. And... Every third puncture deals more damage, multiplicative, and, and in a larger area. That sounds good. Puncture can be charged up, causing puncture with a melee to deal uh, damage in a large area and causing puncture with a bow to deal more damage. Every four seconds, your first few direct uses of puncture are rapid strikes, which have increased attack speed. Maybe I'll try that one. I don't really know. Puncture deals more damage, but has less attack speed. Oh, what's this one? Converts bleed chance from all sources into poison chance. Oh, for like a poison build. I see. I'll go with this. They're just the two abilities I'm using right now, and I've been told I can play around with it, so I'm trying to not overthink it and just try stuff. I have no build in mind at all, other than I want to go Falconer. 
because I think it looks cool. But that's basically it. I talked to this uh, pile of papers yet. Since the, the, first, the third shot is always on the loop. It uses multiple blocks. How did you beat the network boss? Oh, I'm offline, bro. Because I don't really care either way. Not happening. Another shard? Uh, hide gloves of the turtle. Okay. Uh, critical strike chance, intelligence, and armor versus attunement, melee attack speed, health regeneration. Uh, probably, wait, 18% increased critical strike chance? That is humongous. That is a large number of increased critical strike chance. That's not critical strike damage, that's critical strike chance. That's actually ridiculous. Bro? Uh, <laughs> I'm just like... One of these days, it's gonna be a yellow ranged weapon, but not today. All right, I'm gonna start dropping whites because I'm getting enough, uh, getting enough of blues and yellows and stuff that I don't think I need to pick up whites anymore. Yeah. Should I loot filter for it? Actually, that's a good question, because maybe I should be picking up whites and selling them. Um, is that the case or no? Don't pick up whites, it's not worth it. Okay. I will do it then. All right. Create a filter. Create a new filter. <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna say what I was had in mind. All right, this is... Ugh. Level rarity. Normal. So... Um, is that all I need to do? bite <laughs> is that all I need to do oh no if this is show all no 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 hide hide all whites got it all right I think that's the right thing this is I don't want to say complicated but it's definitely I think I'm I think I did this right Set visibility to none. No, no, I got it right. Right? This is right. Hide. White. You have to show all common. What? You gotta select your loot filter at the top to enable it. I think, I think it's, I think, I think I'm good, yeah? Am I good? It's right, bro. 
That's right, but you have to choose the loot filter at the top. I, I, I am, right? No common. That's my, that's my little loot filter. I think. It seems right. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. Just the delay? Oh, yeah, 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 good point. Actually, that's a good question. How's my stream health been? Seems fine. I like it. I've been, it seems like I randomly like uh, getting periods of drop frames, but. You know, I don't need, you know, I don't even know. My yellow javelin was so good. I feel like maybe I should go back to it. I'm so indecisive, dude. It doesn't really matter, too, right? I could just play around with it. But with the, all the life leech, this thing is pretty OP. Oh, it looks like there's a... Um, there's a... Um, Not happening. This dude's dragonfly, I keep thinking, is a enemy. Hit F to add states to the bow. Oh, you mean the things that I've been getting? Yeah, it, I'll just wait till I get a good bow. I don't see... There's a lot to learn here. I don't see the point while it's uh, still a blue. Not happening. Whoa, what is this? Oh, that's the, the buff I just picked up. The uh, shrine. Not happening. This javelin is just so, like, the damage is great, and it's life leech. So I can just tank damage. It's life leech and life on kill. It's really strong. And Shrouded's combat is better. <laughs> we're talking about, we're talking about, like, entirely different genres. <laughs> it's so funny. Hearthstone's card mechanics are way better than this game's. I'll just say that. Loot chest! Alright, what'd I get? Minecraft has better base building as well. Like, not, no cap, like, by a huge margin. I miss Friday Night Magic. Those were fun times. Glyph of Chaos modifies the outcome of a craft. Can I, I put that in there. Everything goes in there. Sad about this mage helm, but it is what it is. Let me ask. We cannot keep the old ways. I won't. Is that a common one that I loot filtered off? Oh, that's kind of cool. So it will still show you. It. That's kind of cool. It'll still show you that there's something that you're missing. But it won't even let you click on it until you drop the filter. I, I quite like that. sell soon I think it's been a while I might be up to another fast travel point here in a minute hold extra temporarily disable the filter clever thanks there we are not happy I'm gonna go back to town. Okay. 
So, let me see though, just in case. So I will keep, there's a blue quiver and a blue bow. Where's the... Chat? What did I do to my bow? I... It's in the for... It's in the forge? What the F does that? Oh. Oh, funny. That's really weird, but okay. And uh, sort, we got a sort here, sort, sort, there it is. Okay. Mm. I'm actually gonna hold on to one shield because I'm, who knows, I might want it for something. I'm would be cool if I could use the shield. Maybe there's a Aww. skill where I eventually can, but. <clears throat> you don't find good rares, you make them. Take the blue and add stats to it to make it rare. Oh. Well, that is a good bit of information. Thank you. I will do that. Health, uh, lightning damage, fire damage, fire resistance. Oh, mine's, this one's way better. Wrong. Okay, let's do the forging thing then. You guys are telling me this is something to do. Let's do it. All right, so, uh, cri critical strike, a bow attack speed. Got it. Um, add... Modifies the outcome of a craft when upgrading affix. Randomly changes the upgrade affix to a different one. What? Available to be applied. Increase stun chance. Okay. I'll put increase stun chance. Uh, I got two other things to click on. I got this. Randomly changes the upgrade affix to a different... Uh, one that can spawn on that item type. It cannot change to a prefix into a suffix or vice versa. For example, if you use a fire resistance shard... I don't know what the fuck that's telling me. Uh, <laughs> sorry. What's this thing? Do I click on that? And then what about this? Alright, I'm just gonna... All right, I did it. I don't know what I did, but I did it. Can I do this thing now too? Fire damage, boom. Uh, can't do that. Apply. Don't have any of those, don't have any of those. All right, this is gonna be a learning process, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to hold on to that just in case. Don't not entirely sure what just happened. But well, I did upgrade and reroll. Uh <sighs> Prefix suffix forging potential. This, 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 this. Okay, got it. No clue. Can't see other players offline, is why. Servers have been offline for a few hours. I don't know, I don't know their current state, but that's, I started playing offline when I booted up the stream and I, I'm just gonna keep playing. Oh, I got bow attack speed, did I? Oh yeah, beautiful. Increase critical strike chance, increase bow attack speed, increase stun chance. That's actually sounding pretty good. The only thing is I loved having all the life leech on this, but maybe it doesn't matter. 
Is there anything I could do to bump the base damage of the bow? Who do the keep? How can they claim a greater connection to it? Still down? Okay. Wow, I look like a right. <laughs> I look like a proper gamer right now, huh? <laughs> look at this fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah, looking great. Beautiful. Yep. This is the look I've been going for. Perfect. Just call me Rax. <laughs> Got the wrong color. Oh man. Alright. Um can I chat with you please? Where's my bow? Oh, it's back in the forge again. I keep doing that. She does not want to chat with me. Speak with the lady. Don't hmm me. Hmm? 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 Mm. Mm. Lady, can we please fucking have a conversation here? Okay? Mm. For the love of God. Mm. 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 Rezone? Okay. I'm sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure the epoch's safe. <laughs> do what you gotta do, bro. I'm going back to town for a second. <laughs> All right, let's see. Back to her we go. You don't need to talk to her? Uh, yes, I do. But let me first check and make sure the epoch's safe. The epoch. Oh, man. Okay, you, I really don't have to talk to her? It, I mean, it's it seems like I need to to progress my quest. Well, what do I do then? Because that's a dead end. Just trigger the next event by going to the cliff. Oh, the cliff. not happening chat spike happened to me i think i had to abandon the quest and do it again from when you fight the boss with the old guy rip really mm -hmm. not happen. i'm sure you have questions but let me first who do the keepers how can they claim a greater connection it's just taking a shot here at this mm -hmm. <sighs> not happening sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure the epoch's safe. I'm spinning from the first night of man so far. Pleasantly surprised for a... One moment. I mean, you know, we have this bug here, but... Pleasantly surprised for a $35 game. Um, I told chat earlier, I wasn't sure what to expect. But, um, this is, feels good to play. You know, it's, it's got, a, uh, the one big thing I've talked about, it, like, it's just like early critique or whatever. It's just like, yeah, it's got like a lower production quality in terms of visuals and all that stuff. But the gameplay feels good. I've heard amazing things about the game systems and progression and end game. And, um, and I like, like the abilities that I've unlocked so far. Playing this feels pretty darn good. I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, this is the first, <laughs> as I say that, we're at a, a, a progression halting bug, but sure this is the first one of those I've seen, and, and sure it's apparently well known safe. because a few people Not have happening. talked mm -hmm. about it, so hopefully it's something that gets addressed soon. <laughs> Alright, so apparently I have to... Uh, sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure the epoch's safe. <sighs> uh, apparently I have to try abandoning the quest. I just have to find my quest log first. Whoa! 
hitting all sorts of buttons, not finding my journal. J does not, J doesn't do it. L is the ladder. That's the settings. Let me go into, maybe just hit escape. Is there a journal? Where is this? If I click on this, what if I click on that? That's the, oh, there it is. There's the quest. And then how do I abandon it? Someone told me I could abandon it and go back to the prior, prior point. But I don't quite see. No need to abandon the quest. Return to the zone entrance to find the old guy. Are we talking about the fortress wall? Or do I walk, do I walk back? Oh, walk back to those doors. I'm gonna walk back to those doors. The three lines by T. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna try walk, someone told me to walk back to the uh, last Not zone that. though, and that might do it. Well, there's the old guy. So do I, I stay with him? I think I stay with him. Maybe this will do it. Is he gonna tell me that that epoch's safe? I'm sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure that epoch's safe. <laughs> Good. <laughs> there we go, everybody. We did it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's fucking. If she doesn't stop fuming me, return to the keeper's camp and speak with uh, oh, Keeper Alina. Okay. There we go. Looks like Keeper Alina is over there. I'm gonna sell some of this stuff. The epoch is indeed not safe. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. All right, another passive point, more experience. So I'm eight of eight for swift assassin. I'm actually not gonna do dual blading. Uh, Guile or steady hand. I kind of like steady hand. So is this telling me it gives me one dexterity point as well as five health points and then each point of dexterity adds four dodge rating and improves skills that rely on skillful handling of weapons such as flurry and shurikens. I like, I wish I could tell how do, is there a way for me to tell which skills are affected? Cause it, they say such as implying that there's more than the such as examples. Like does, does puncture count? I mean, I guess I'm using flurry a lot, so I'll just take it because I'm using flurry. Everything okay? I don't know, the epoch's not safe. Everything okay? What that and what that must be we have there. Are you you stay safe? You know what? Everything okay? That's good, good character art. That's nice, it looks good. And actually I'm gonna take a moment as well to appreciate the uh the, the bridge here with the background, you know what I mean? That looks nice. To the highlands we go. Hover over the skill on the toolbar to see what it scales with. So yeah, physical melee bow attack dexterity. Oh, so anything, is it then that anything that scales with dexterity works for mm, what I just did? Is that what it is? Anything, because this is adding dexterity? Yes, I think that's it. Every, so this gives me a dexterity and then I'll, I'll get other sources of dexterity, but it's saying when I have this, each point of dexterity gives me the four dodge rating as well as improves anything that scales with dexterity, I guess is the assumption. 
Oh, wait, the description is just what dexterity does. This node just gives me dexterity as well as the health that we see. And it's just telling me what dexterity does. That's kind of weird, but okay. I mean, I guess that's why it's hidden under the more information, right? Probably. Yeah, that's probably why it's hidden under the more information. That makes a lot more sense. <clears throat> but then it's kind of weird why Guile doesn't have similar more information for dodge rating or something. You know what I mean? But maybe it's because dodge rating is just dodge rating, whereas agility is something that has implications elsewhere. Because this isn't telling me what health does. It's just telling me what dexterity does, so... <clears throat> So this is now a channel. Oh man. Does it cost mana now too though? It does, yeah. All right, bro. Dude, we are we're not even 2 hours in and I'm already like loving the feel of this combat. I've already got freaking machine gun. Demon hunter style. All right, I think I made the right choice. Hit C for your character panel and hover over decks. Well, it's just gonna tell me the same thing, right? Yep. Okay. Dodge rating, strength does armor plus strength scale, health plus poison and necrotic resist. Ward retention, don't know what that is. Mana, and improves, uh, yeah, mana scaling skills. Cool, cool, cool. What is this over here? What's happening? Is my UI bugged? What, where, what is Puncture doing over here? Oh, it's telling me, oh, 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 it's not bugged. It's telling me that I have an upgrade available for Puncture. Let's check it. Uh, skill, puncture. Okay, I went this way and I wanted to get this. Every f each uh, every four seconds, your first few direct uses of puncture are rapid strikes, which have increased attack speed. I'm actually kind of confused. So every f does it every four seconds it applies a buff to me, and then I consume it. And then it, yes, that's it, right? So I, I shoot it and it consumes it. And then four seconds later it comes back. Okay. And then what exactly does it do? When I have this buff, your first few, does that mean three? Maximum rapid strikes every four seconds, one. And then I'll get more when I spend more points into it. What kind of rogue are you making? I think I'm making a falconer. I Something about, like, I tell birds to go do shit. Maximum rapid strikes every four seconds. One, and then that's gonna scale up. Puncture works well with bleed as it has uh, penetrate, can go through and apply bleed to multiple targets, right? Yeah, they have the bleed, uh, they have the bleed thing here, right? Converts poison chance from all sources into bleed chance. There was a few modifiers. I actually want to double check what this poison throw does because I keep tossing it. Uh, deals physical damage, poisons enemies, and reduces their armor. Yeah, so reducing the armor is good. And it's stacked as well, I believe. Let me see. One. Two. It actually kills these guys. It does enough damage. How long does it last on them? Is 
Does it say how long it lasts? Not really. That's a shame. Hold down the puncture button to test it out. Oh. So it looks like it does two right now with the buff. Two at the increased attack speed. And then it's the normal attack speed. That's good. How does the game feel? Uh, the f combat feel is 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 it has been what what's impressed me the most so far, honestly. Better than I expected. Yeah, it's pretty good. Increased movement speed shard, got bracers, got a shield. Check that stuff I got in a second. I got another buff here, too. Or another uh, passive point, rather. Okay. Do another one of the steady hands for dexterity, and then we'll, we'll be on the third tier. I'm going to try a few of these. Every third melee, uh, I can't do it yet, but I'm just curious. Chance to gain haste. Uh, every third melee throwing or bow attack deals increased damage, 20% per point. So that's up to 100% if it scales accordingly. You have additional dodge rating and a chance to receive a glancing blow when hit. Oh, there's a uh, fast travel location. It's got a special icon. Whoa, did he just come back to life? Might have to start filtering out blues even. Oh, another bow. Let's check it. Okay, check a few things. Uh, level 15, can't use it yet. Uh, this looks sick as shit, and it's just an upgrade, so we'll take it. Uh, all right. Bow damage is up. Increased bow attack speed. Increased critical strike chance by 33%. Chance on on uh, chance to ignite on hit and health on kill. Bra. That is sick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude. is good. Damn. 2024 already, dude. What a year. Thought 2023 was a good year for games. We're not even finished the second month and I mean, it's not been a great year for AAA games yet. We're going to have uh, Elden Ring, so that's good. I wonder what else is coming out this year. I can't even think right now. But dude, it's been a hell of a year for like mid-tier game, mid like like smaller studios, indie games. It's been a great year. Thanks, Eagle Eye. Thanks for stopping by. How is every streamer or YouTuber getting into the game? Uh, we're playing offline, man. Yeah, yeah. There's no, uh, there's no like big thing here where only we're just playing offline yep 
Everyone, oh, Dragon's Dogma 2? No, no, I don't forget about Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm hyped as hell for that. Sorry, m my, my brain is like partially functional today because I barely slept. Uh, yeah, dude, that's gonna be freaking sick. Cannot wait for that as well. I'd like to stream more, and that's the kind of thing I would love to stream. So you might... Whoa, what What the F? Oh, it's out of mana. Um, kind of, uh, have been in a World of Warcraft rabbit hole for the past, if you guys were wondering. <laughs> of course, where you been past, like, few weeks? What's been going on? Uh, I've been playing the hell out of Season of Discovery. I don't think that's a particularly good game to stream. Uh, as much as I love WoW, I think it's sort of boring to watch. Um, I think, like, there are times where I would stream it, but... I've kind of just been no-lifing, and it's... I, like, don't even feel like talking, so... I've just been kind of enjoying that process. Um... But anyways, point is... When I'm not doing that... I'd like to, uh, I'd like to stream some more games during launch. This was a good opportunity for that. And, um, I think Dragon's Dogma would be a lot of fun, too, so. Let's put that in a, let's, let's, let's put that, make a note. Put on, put that in the list of perspective things that can happen in the future. Boy, yeah, really solid plans there, Dennis. <laughs> Any Nomrigan yet? Yeah. Um, I've done one, uh, one lockout. It was, uh, last week. And we got everything but the last boss. We just didn't have the DPS. I was top of the charts, though, on my Shadow Priest, I'll just say it. Just say I was top of the charts, spamming Mind Blast and uh, whatever the fuck that rune is called, the vo the the spiky one. Oh, health on kill again, dude. Nice. Yeah, SOD's been a lot of fun. Cause I'm playing a Shadow Priest. So it's been a great time. <laughs> it's been oh yeah, PVP has been a lot of fun. PVE has been a lot of fun. There's just something about it. Really enjoying. <laughs> maybe it's because... Maybe it's because my runes are vastly overtuned. I don't know. There's something about it. It's been a great, great time. You know what else I've been playing? And this probably would have been another good thing to stream, but so it'll be. Um, I've been playing a Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. The, like, the horde mode game. The auto shooter thingy. Really good, dude. I think I might even like it better than Vampire Survivors. And I really- I played a lot of Vampire Survivors. I really like that game. But... Dude, this Deep Rock Galactic one... They got just like a- they got a few interesting twists. The one thing I'm not sure about yet is... Variety. Like... It seems... After playing for like, seven hours, it seems like I just keep doing the same things over and over again. I've unlocked all four levels. And I've unlocked... Um, at least the second or third, um, challenge tier on each of them. But it's starting to get, like, um, I'm, I'm just curious. The one thing, the, the one really nice thing about Vampire Survivors is they had a lot of variety as you progress through the game. Like, they kept, things kept getting changed up quite a bit. Um, and it, I'm starting to feel like there's, there's just, like, it's always the same three activities. You're either getting... A horde summoned in, um, a drop whatever thing, like a mining thing that you have to clear the rocks for, and then the boss. And like, that's, that's it. It seems like, so, so I'm just wondering if there's going to be more variety to it. Uh, if not, that that would be a great area for improvement, but, but everything else about the game is a ton of fun, dude. Did you try Helldivers 2? Uh, I, so I'm supposed to, I'm actually... I had a thing that I was supposed to do, like a collaboration for that game. Um, I can't get, I can't play it. It keeps crashing after I go past the intro cinematic. 
I'm 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 like non-stop. I cannot get I cannot boot up the game for more than two minutes before it crashes. I couldn't even do the tutorial. Can't leave the ship. So I don't know what the problem is. I've tried a lot of things. I've tried reinstalling. I've tried verifying. I've tried turning off the firewall. I've tried shutting off all the other apps. I've tried getting rid of Windows Xbox Game Bar. Uh, made sure everything was closed and the Discord, nothing was open. Um, I did the drivers, of course. I unplugged every single thing that wasn't my mouse and keyboard. Because sometimes, like, if you have a controller plugged in or if you have your webcam plugged in, like, sometimes that can cause issues with some games. Um, I can't play the game. It just it just keeps crashing. So I want to play Helldivers 2. I loved the first Helldivers. You can go on my, you can go on this YouTube channel. Type in search and you will see me playing Helldivers like 10 years ago or however long ago it was. I thought that game was hella fun. Super pumped for Helldivers 2. I can't fucking play it. It's just it's non-stop crashing. So really bummed. I'm I'm gonna keep working at it. I'm hoping for a fix because we're I'm supposed to do something with the again, it's like a I'm supposed to be doing a stream for that game. But if I can't get, if I can't get it to boot, well, then then it ain't happening. So we will see what happens. But yeah, just right now I'm just kind of bummed because I would like to do I'd like to play Helldivers too. Still playing in Shrouded? No, I, I I've just finished it. There's really nothing else for me to do. Um, have every skill point, have the max item level of all my gear slots, uh, the end game crafted sets I've built. Um, I have the highest item level available for weapons. Um, I'll have all the skill points, cleared all the shroud routes, which I have to have if, to have all the skill points. You have to clear all the shroud routes. Um, so there's just great time absolutely loved it but I'm, I'm basically done until they add more content there's just nothing else for me to see so but it was a it was a damn good time really enjoyed it but uh i'm basically finished for the time being okay let's see i'll get rid of the the uh, common one and let me just go sell. Might have to drop something. 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 Come on, Quiver. Really? Oh yeah, I, I tried shutting off my uh, antivirus as well, like my Windows antivirus, but that also didn't work. Might have to drop something. So I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to go back to town and I've got some skill upgrades to do. Did you try to see if your cloud is full on your computer? My what? Happened to my computer because I turned cloud off. Had to do it with Steam and my cloud... What? Are you talking about like Steam, the Steam Sync? Like Progress Sync? Is that what you're talking about? Tour between this game and PoE. I finally completed the campaign on PoE for the first time and doing mapping, but I'm getting wrecked. PoE just seems so complicated. Excited for PoE too, though. Well, I know time is the ultimate limiting factor, but um. Yeah, I, I guess I can't really make any suggestion for you. It's, it's your call. I would assume blessing. that PoE is a more complete, more blessing. fleshed out game because be it's you. been active for all these years. You know what I mean? And they've just kept adding stuff over time. But um, I have heard really great things about this. I'm enjoying it so far, but I can't give you a recommendation one way or the other between the two. Ooh, damn, is this a uh, higher rarity than 
yellow. It looks like it's uh, it's slightly off. It's like a brownish. Yeah, it looks like a different rarity. I'll put that in my inventory. Maybe I can just start selling yellows too. Oh wait, this is a different color too. This is really weird. What is this? You see there's the, there's like a slight hue difference. This is like a, a more vibrant, saturated yellow. And this one is um more like a brown. I can't see the rarity name though, but I'm assuming they're different. All right, let me check. Let me get rid of all my blues probably. I'll check the, ch uh, oh yeah, get rid of all my blues. Rarity is just determined by number of affixes. Okay. So as you add more affixes, the rarity goes up. So it's really just about like what things do you have? Well, what is this? Well, what is this? What does this one have? Increased physical damage? Okay, that's probably... The one that I have is really good. Bow damage, two bow physical damage, health on kill, stun chance. And this is... Like, these are so sick. Both cold damage, fire damage, health on kill. No, I'll just stick with what I have. I think I'll put my spear back. I think I'll put my really good spear in here. But I can I can probably get rid of these other ones. Hmm. Pale yellow is a fixed campaign item. It always drops for the first time and has a, at least one predetermined mod. Okay. Force, trust me, hit F, upgrade the damage to bow, craft early and often. Which bow? The one that I have currently or the blue, or? Upgrade, the, upgrade this one? Is that what you're saying? I just don't understand these things. Don't have shards yet, so ignore for now. Okay. I'm a little confused about these two different things, but so I have these glyphs, but then also I have this plus sign and when I hit the plus sign, it shows me my glyphs. Oh, that glyph still goes in there. And then the, and then there's these ones, but I don't have anything yet. And then I have this, this plus sign next to the plus sign for those. It's going to take a minute for me to sort it all out. Hmm. Can I shard this stuff yet? No. Hmm. I'm just going to sell this stuff. Might be making some mistakes here, but I don't know enough either way, so... Oh, did I sell a goblet? Because it looks like I have a spot for a goblet. I don't see it. Right. Uh, do I have durability? Doesn't look like it. That's my quest. Oh, I think I took the portal. Where's the portal? Here it is. I think I took a portal. I believe I did.
Oh, that's right. Because I took the portal, it respawned all the enemies. Oh, I have, um, I have skills to do. Okay. Minimum skill level increased. Minimum skill level dictates how many skill points your skills start with when you specialize in them, and how many skill points will be retained when de-leveling them. I got a decoy. I might put that down instead of smoke bomb because I've just not been using smoke bomb. And let's see if I want any one of these. Every third throw or bow attack deals increased damage. I kind of like that. Ooh, non-channeling? I've been channeling, though. Ooh, that's kind of cool. How do I get to that? Oh, it just requires me getting to this threshold and then spending and sapping strikes. Uh, I'll try this for now. I could also just spend more points in the dexterity boost. And, uh... Yeah, I think that's it for now. Is this my first playthrough? Yes, it is. What's this? Oh, that's the lethal. And so let's see. Yep, so now I get three. When I have that buff, uh, I get three increased attack speed punctures instead of two. Cool. So I think I'll do puncture and then follow it up with my channeled flurry. And uh, I wanted to swap this out for decoy. Because I've just not been using the smoke bomb. I'm sure the real play is going to be doing something that doesn't require me to stand still. Because usually you want to be just moving and clearing, you know what I mean? But this is fine for now. Definitely a lot to learn right off the get-go. Or there's a lot of, like, there's a lot to parse through, but... It doesn't really matter because I can still just... I'm still just doing the thing and blowing stuff up and it's all good. Uh, looks like there was a hallway that I missed I want to check. Guessing it's a dead end, but just look anyways. Hello? Not happening. Got it, Dan. And it's got a chest. You know what? I'm wondering. I feel like. So right now, I feel like I've got both Puncture and Flurry. And I probably don't need both, right? Like, I could just be using one or the other. And then I should have my other slots filled with... More utility or something, you know? Does that make sense? I mean, the, because the puncture, the puncture right now is both higher DPS and it applies bleed, whereas this is just three strikes. I don't know. Not sure. But 
Like, I feel like I could just be using Puncture right now. And I don't even need the Flurry. But I don't know, is this like, is this one of those one, one attack skill games? Or does it make sense for me to have multiple? I don't know yet. Guess we'll see. like a nice game but I'm already working on uh, Grim Dawn right now. <laughs> That's how it feels right there is a lot. <laughs> there is a lot. People usually have one to two attack skills. Don't need both normally you just have one mainline spammable attack. I don't know what I thought, but... In fact, is this even a spender? That's the weird thing about Puncture right now, is it doesn't even cost mana. It's literally just a high DPS attack. It doesn't cost me anything. Not happening. This game is less one skill than PoE, if that's what you mean. Okay. Although, isn't that a thing for PoE too? Am I am I remembering correctly? I swear they said uh, they were trying to make PoE less one skill spam than the uh, PoE two less one skill spam than the original. Can't see. When I unlock the falcon. Wait, I actually get a falcon when I when I do falconer? I mean, it makes sense, but I, I, I don't know if it was just like, sometimes a falcon comes down. I just want to use two infinite, uh, indefinite, indefinitely spammable ones or infinitely spammable ones. Right, yeah, it probably makes sense to, if you have two damage skills, have one with a long cooldown that's heavy hitting and then have your spammable one, right? That would, that makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> if you be beeline for the exit, you get your mastery quicker? Yes, but then I'll stop. I, I, I'm having fun. So it's all good. I can still feel the hit when I present this to Riot. I can still feel the flame searing across me. Damn. Stealing my wind in my eye. Not happening. Frankly, I'm <clears throat> I'm like enjoying this uh like learning this game and not overthinking it. I'm so so used to like when games come out feeling like uh you know, I got to fucking try hard and play non-stop for days until I uh reach max level as fast as possible and 
but like I just I didn't have much expectation for this game. I was just like, yeah, I'll check it out. And I'm really enjoying it, but I'm also just not thinking about like trying to speed level and it's pretty nice, honestly. How many how many t times does it stack? Damn. I think it just like keeps stacking that debuff. Whoa, what's happening? Yeah, what? Wanna attack the uh, decoy? Bro, off screen to get wrecked. for this shit. Chalice. Increase fire damage, physical damage, void resistance, increase mana regeneration. Yeah. Might have to drop something. Might have to drop something. No, get me out of here. <laughs> Dude, it's open. Just walk out. It's wide open. Just walk here, step, put your foot up here, and then put the other, you know, you don't even have to put your feet up here. I'm pretty sure you can fit through this gap. Oh, Terra. My knees. Oh, he's got bad knees. Okay, that makes sense. Creatures, those hospitals, I will be. He's got bad knees, so he really needs me to pry it open, <laughs> pry it open a bit more. I must remind myself, I may not be able to take flight. But with Ember Wings aid, Where am I going back I home? Once again feel Return the to the Keeper's Camp. Got him. Oh, how I've missed the limitless blue. Yeah, I... I mean, it, this part of the genre, right? So, I'm not gonna, like, gri uh, gripe too hard on this. But... You know, I, I just don't like having to look at a million different items. And I almost wish these... I mean, hey, bro, bro. Hey, idiot. They've got a loot filter, idiot. Yes, right, you're right, they do. Um, but there's this little thing called FOMO. It really, really sucks. Cause you, cause you don't want to feel like you missed out on a sick drop that you don't know about. So you, <laughs> mm. yeah, <clears throat> it's the genre. So I'm going to shut my mouth, but well, I'll, I'll just say, there's one thing I'll say is that this is a, this is an element of the genre that I wish. Yep. Hmm. There is the falconer filter. You literally copy paste it. Very easy. You won't miss out on items. So what? It'll like just show me like falconer, good good stuff for the falconer or something. <clears throat> um. So the anyways the the what led to me say, saying all that is that um, I wanted to I was gonna ask if. Is it the case that, like, I should be looking at blue? <laughs> <Yeah>. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Should I be should I be reading every blue item to find the ones that have the best fucking stats? Just let me know. Damn, this thing hits hard. Right. Right. Hmm. 
You want the right fil filter. Either equip or eventually break down into shards. Only see items you want affixes for. Okay. Do they have the thing where, like, if you don't want it as part of your filter, you can still get the currency and or um, uh, salvage materials for them? Do they have a thing like that? There's the sword. Uh, going up here to chat. Not happening. He's back. He's been quiet. You're back. No, no, no. Do you get the Irina? I'm so sorry. sorry to you too. It's okay. This is what's best for us all. Apology accepted. Flurry deals more damage, multiplicative, for each second channeled. Whoa, what's happening? What? Oh, bro, I was reading about my abilities. And then a time portal popped up? All right. Uh, let's see what's going on. You can ignore reading gear until late game. For now, just filter by rarity. Okay. Rip dialogue. It's alright, it would have gone over my head anyways, don't worry guys. Uh, okay. You have additional physical and elemental resistance while channeling. If you're using a bow, you fire arrows faster, but they are less accurate. Well, I guess I should get this because it's a one point and it seems like it's probably good. If you're using a bow, every six shot is replaced with multi-shot. Damn! Well, I'll do this one first because this is good. This sounds good. I don't see a stacking buff, though. Why not? Flurry deals more damage mul multiplicative uh, for each second channeled up to a maximum. What is that maximum? Maximum damage bonus is 15. Maybe it, does, maybe it only shows me the buff when I'm in combat. Because I don't see a, I, I, I imagine, I, I would assume I would see a stacking buff here while I do this. But I'm not seeing a stacking buff. Um, okay, here's a portal. I am in the Ruined Era, so I was just in the Divine Era, but now I've uh, traveled through time. And I went from being in the town in the Keeper's Camp to being in the crumbling ruins of the town a mere 12,000, 13, 13 and 2,000 years after... G. God. Where I was negative 12 years before Epoch. I'm sure I got that accurate. I'm sure that's correct. Heinz Adhat says... The afford me is really just about reading through the loot. <laughs> That's the real challenge in the game. <laughs> Good game, yes or no. Uh, surprisingly, pleasantly surprised at the quality of the game thus far. Fun, That's my... So That's my response. It feels like a very good quality $35 ARPG from what I've seen. I'm actually getting annoyed that I don't see this stacking buff. Why don't they show me the stacking buff? <sighs> right? Am I wrong here? Should this not show me? All right. Flurry, this ability, now grants a stacking 3% damage buff for each second it's channeled up to a maximum. So 
I should see a stacking buff every second that shows me when I've hit the maximum. I should, right? Maybe, maybe there's like a buff filter. <clears throat> but it would make, it makes logical sense that I should be seeing that. Buffs show on the enemies? No, that's not, that's not right. That can't be right. Is that right? Bottom left, yeah, 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 but th what I'm telling you is that, that that particular buff isn't showing because these are other buffs. This is lethal cadence. Every third attack deals increased damage. That's a separate thing. And this is rapid strikes, which is applying to my puncture ability. Those are these, but these buffs are different than the buff that I'm talking about. I just saw it when you were attacking. That, um, the debuff on the guy. I swear that's not it, but I might be wrong. I think that's another, I think that was a, di a different debuff, but maybe I'm wrong. Anywho, not a huge deal. I'm just gonna move on with my life. I'm gonna get another one of these punctures, which should give me another stack, I believe. That was a fire stack? Yeah, I thought so. <clears throat> Anyways, not a huge deal. It just uh, seems strange, is all. But not the end of the world. Uh, strength, cast speed, um, Increased critical. Sh I'll, I'll probably keep my current ones because it gets increased crit span, uh, crit chance, and that's eighteen percent is rather large. So, Oh, bro. <laughs> Easy. The new UI is great. Yeah, I heard they did like a total overhaul to their prior visuals. Um but I hadn't, I hadn't, I haven't really played the game before. This is my first time. I, at one point, like a month ago, I jumped in for like 30 minutes, but I, I, I basically, like, I, I don't count that. I was just like, oh yeah, let me just get this. Cause I knew the game was coming to 1.0. So I just bought it while it was still in early access in anticipation of this release. Um, but I don't, you know, it was a, a total of 30 minutes. I don't, I don't remember. I didn't play enough to really have anything sink in. over you God's the story damage numbers are cleaner sounds better cool someone told me that the uh, the servers were back online like the online yes. mode was working for some people Gods be with you. Last refugee outskirts. <laughs> the 
The time travel thing's kind of cool. Find guardsmen. Oh, these are like side quests? Maybe? Playing online with my buddies right now. Okay, cool. I'm not I'm probably not gonna switch at this point because I'm only gonna be streaming for maybe a couple more minutes here, honestly, for today, but this has been really nice. Appreciate you guys joining me to check out uh, this new ARPG. I think it's pretty good. I like it so far, yeah. enjoying it so far can increase it even further I almost feel like I should get wait, I'll just keep doing this oh wait how many points what oh, I guess I had an extra unspent point oh look okay and then once I reach level 15 I will get ballista and people were saying at the end of the starter at this at this phase of the campaign I'll be able to pick my mastery I'm gonna go falconer Summons a falcon that fights with you, and then activate it. The falcon rapidly hits many enemies in target area. It's like an AoE or cleave attack or something. Gods be with you. Yeah, pretty darn impressed. That th That is my, like, if I were to just sum up my early first impressions. It looks better than I thought it was going to look. It plays su supremely, like, much, much, much better than I thought it was going to play. You just never know, you know, you never know with uh, smaller studio titles, right? Probably the biggest thing that is going to be... Um, like a notch below, say like a Path of Exile 2 or a Diablo 4 is that, I talked about it earlier in the stream, but just like the production quality, and I'm just talking about things like the detail of textures and like animations and, and general like visual polish, right? Um, it's really good, but you know, it's clearly, it was clearly built with like a smaller, with like a smaller budget, right? Uh, and that's there's there, there's no nothing wrong with that because that's not the most important thing for a game at all, and of top priority at least from the onset for me is the gameplay and this gameplay feels really well done. Like it genuinely feels really really good. The, the not only the, like the feel of combat, the impactfulness and all of that, but also like the skills that I have and their interactions. Um, these first couple of hours, it's been a fun, it's been a, 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 a nice feel to playing the game with this, with the skills of this class that I picked up and yeah, it's just good. It feels good. It plays well. And so then obviously like the long-term question of importance with this genre obviously is that like the end game systems, but again, not without the experience myself, what I've heard from people is that they do a really good job with their end game. So that's exciting. Hope I uh, hope I'm sticking around long enough to see it at least a little bit. It's just a lot going on right now, right? We got Sons of the Force coming out this week, which I totally forgot about, but I I'm interested in that as well. And um, I swear there was something else coming out soon. Is there something else launching? Something good coming out next week? I don't know. For now, though, it's it's in terms of new games. Well, okay. So I'm done with Nightingale. I just don't have any interest in playing anymore. I, I played enough for the review. I'm... The game's okay, but needs some work. So I'm done with that for now. But there's this that just came out, and I'm loving it, so I'd like to play more. Uh, Sons of the Forest, I would like to play, like I just said. And um, and then Deep... Uh, what is it? Deep Rock whatever, Survivor. Um, 
I started playing that earlier this week and really, really enjoy it. Although I feel like I'm like running out of stuff to do. I, I mentioned uh, like an hour ago that it's starting to get pretty repetitive. I, I'm just seeing the same events over and over again, but really fun. Like as a, as one of those survivor games, like a vampire survivor, I think the Deep Rock one is really well done. But anyways, yeah, some games to play, dude. Good times. I, I would really like to I think the only thing that'll pull me away from this in the next a uh, couple in the next week or two would be the I'd like to check out the release build of um Sons of the Forest because I for all of its faults I did mostly enjoy it when it came to early access and I want to see how they changed it it was just really lacking content but the core foundation was really strong like it was really fun building a base and even though it was pretty short, going through the campaign was really fun. Super cool game, honestly. I hadn't played the original. I hadn't played the forest, but... Just interesting and unique, really. Did you try crafting yet? In this? Not really. I mean, I've done some forging. Oh shit, dude. Wow, look at all those glyphs. Was that like a special glyph and glyph glyph dropping NPC or something? Not happening. Oh, Hell Divers too, of course. But I can't play that yet because it keeps crashing. If, if if I could get Hell Tivers 2 to stop crashing, I'd love to start playing that too. Because I I adored the original game. And I'm so happy to see that the sequel is doing well for them. I don't want to port to town because when you do, uh, it resets all the mobs. So I might just end up dropping my blues. What brings you here? I think this is the side quest that I have. Terra's grace be with you. How is performance for this? Fine. I've had no issues actually at all. Yeah, performance has been good. No issues whatsoever. Oh, upgrade both my skills now. Okay. I get this. And then skills. Can get another one of these. I will go in here because I think I want to go to... F well, all of these, I guess. So I will spend a point in this. And then for my puncture, I was going this way. Every 10 seconds, your next puncture immobilizes enemies on hit, causing them, that's, that sounds pretty good. Should I go for that, maybe? Directly using puncture causes several mirages to briefly appear at either side of you, attacking in the same direction as you. Damn, that's pretty good, too. It's only one point, so maybe I'll grab that. Puncture can... Yeah. Huh. Some good, some good things here. If you use puncture with a bow while you have a black arrow puncture charges 100 oh this is the charge the stay of execution thing i can charge turns into a puncture which is kind of weird because of i have rapid strikes i might just go with the penumbral ambush and maybe the scale blane scale bane 
But this is like, this is now turning into like working with modifiers and I don't know enough at this point. So I might just keep it simple. Also, uh, probably don't need two attacks at early game though. Might be worth specializing in a utility. I was thinking that as well, yeah. Because I, because right now you're right. I have I have both puncture and flurry, which are just basically the da two damage dealing abilities. But it is kind of nice using puncture while I get the increased attack speed and then swapping to flurry. But puncture just seems better right now. Just like it just seems straight up better than flurry at the moment, anyways. What does this one do? Stun chance. Not happening. Hmm. Farewell. Having fun? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Quite a bit. Those guys aren't, however. Uh, did I finish? Oh, go report back to him. Not happening. No? Report to someone else? Okay. Online still down? No, I heard it's up. I'm just still playing offline because <clears throat> I don't really, I don't really Not mind. Happening. Unless my friends, uh, I mean, may, uh, maybe if I keep playing, I'll probably swap. But at that point too, I will have this knowledge and uh, playing through this point will be a lot quicker, right? I'm still learning and reading a lot right now. So <clears throat> I just didn't feel like starting over from scratch, especially since it might still be shoddy. Like if the servers are coming down or whatever. Um, we're going to be wrapping up here in a second anyways. Probably just finish the end of this dungeon or whatever. Might have to drop some, might have to drop something. You know what I'll actually do? Pour it out and then just go from here. Because I just won't go backwards so I don't have to worry about everyone respawning. Uh, where'd my portal go? Bro. I thought I was supposed to be able to portal back. Is it because I'm in the wrong time zone? Oh boy. Health on kill. Stun chance. Increase bow damage. I think mine's better one that I currently have. I think I can just sell this stuff. Mm. Right. So, problem is, I screwed up. I don't know where this is going to put me. Uh, <laughs> Alright, well, that's fine. 
Uh, I think we're, I think I'm just gonna call it now. I'm not gonna go clear through the dungeon. I was hoping I was at the end and I was just gonna stop it, but oh well, that's that. Um, yeah, so pretty damn good. I'm pretty impressed. I'll be honest. That is, um, yeah, that's a really nice first impression. Uh, I really enjoyed this. Good time, dude. New ARPG. Good eating this year, 2024, right? You got this, Path of Exile 2 coming out, and hey, we'll see what Diablo 4 does. They got their uh, expansion coming. What's going to come with that, right? Who knows? Maybe you'll be too busy with other games, but I don't know. I'm curious, obviously, so we'll see what happens. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Uh, thanks for coming out to the stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, fun little time. Thanks for spending it with me, and uh, I'll see you in another one, all right? Take it easy, guys. See you later.